Good evening from South Cambridge, and here is a Starlink update from the United Kingdom. Two things I'm going to talk about in this video are DES version 2 update. I'm also going to touch on the new firmware and stability improvements, along with a message from Mr. Musk himself. But before we do all the important stuff, here is me spinning around the garden and the dog chasing me. So let's jump right into it. Des version 2. For those of you who follow this little channel, you'll know that we've done some speed tests on Des recently. We don't normally use him. It's uh, an Asus router that is my main one. That's the one I decided I wanted to use. Des, on the other hand, is, is here. And he, he's, 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 he's okay here. He likes, he likes to be beside me while I record these videos. But we updated him a couple of days ago, and that was my previous video, and we did some speed tests. And honestly, they were pretty awful. So just before we go on to the results, I want to share something with you. Des has been quite traumatized, I think, since the last update. And it may well be the force that I put the Ethernet cable in him, because he's staring out the window, and he's buddied up a pineapple and he sits there and I wonder is he looking out into space or is he quite simply looking at his own reflection so comments were let's update him again try again but do them via wired connection so I did that and here are the results So as you can see from these wired speed tests, they're running all right. They're definitely not bad. And they're probably better than the majority of the country that don't have fiber to premises have. They, they run fast. And Des is pumping out some mileage right there. So I left him connected for quite some time to make sure that he was fully updated. I checked on some forms to ensure that he was running the current firmware. And it appears he was or is so then we jump over to the ASUS speed tests and you can see that they, they're they quick, they're fast. And this again is a wired test. I've cropped in the image a little bit because I don't want to give away my IP address. I don't even know if that's relevant, but I feel that I might be vulnerable if I show it. I don't want to show that. So as you can see, things, if I run these side by side, these are the speed tests, and there's a clear winner here. Um, it's the Asus. So I feel Des is now part of the family decor type thing. He's He exists, and he exists as a companion. I could take him on a flight as a, as a bunny with a medical certificate. I could probably get away with that. Yeah, enjoy that. So that brings me on nicely. There was clearly no tie whatsoever to firmware on the dish itself. And there was an update overnight. And I can say categorically that it's now running at a very good rate. Now, it's not running as fast as it was. I remember that time we had that 400 megabits a second. But it's stable and it's solid and it feels good. There's something about it that's different. And I think a lot has to do with the slightly lower speeds. Yes, it's not massively lower. It's still hitting well over 300 megabits a second, but it doesn't drop out as much. And I can really vouch for that. This morning I gamed for an hour while I was cycling a 30K indoor thing on my bike and I had zero dropouts. That's never happened in Starlink. I would always get a dropout or a lag input, a lag spike and lose a couple of games. But Today, there's been nothing like that. There's also a slight change in the app where it shows other outages. Now that's instead of things like beta downtime, etc. It just says other outages and I kind of like that. So 
So the firmware version is good. It's nice. I like it a lot. I love what they're doing. And here is the message from Mr. Musk himself. And this was on Twitter. It's not some private message. We're not quite there yet. This is accurate. Service uptime, bandwidth and latency are improving rapidly. Probably might have better this summer. So there you go. It'll be a full service by summer. It won't be better than nothing. It is much better than nothing. In fact, I'm very close to making the phone call to disconnect my backup ISP. And that's a big deal for me. I've been with this company for a long time. I'm not ready to pull the plug. So that is the Friday update. Very short, very sweet. Whatever you're doing for the weekend, have a good one. And I will catch you later.